everybody, my name is Erica and today I'm going to be giving you five books to read if you are single this Valentine's Day. <laughs> happily single. I just love being on my own and everything so no shame being single for Valentine's Day because being single is a lot more fun sometimes. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to go through some of the books that I've read that are really perfect if you want to read about romance but you're not really like looking for romance or if you are that's totally fine as well. They are all more like contemporary based. They're not like fantasy or sci-fi or anything even though there are a lot of beautiful romances in the fantasy genre. Maybe if you're looking for something cute to read this Valentine's Day that these might be perfect for you. Oh, there's a siren outside, hold on. Alright, let's just get right into it. The first book I have is Attachments by Rainbow Brawl. I don't read a lot of contemporary novels, but I did really enjoy this one. And the romance in it is very subtle but very cute and sweet. In this book, we're following this internet security officer named Lincoln. So his job is basically he works in this office with these people, but he just has to read these people's emails, see if there's anything wrong, or if he has to turn them in for anything, you know, that kind of job. And he always feels really bad because he feels like he's really like violating people's privacy but he also just is trying to do his job. One day he comes across these messages between these two women at the work and they are Jennifer and Beth. They are kind of naughty in their messages. They just, you know, gossip a lot and just have a lot of things going on between them. They're very close. Lincoln feels like he needs to turn them in for their messages but then he really starts to find entertainment in them. While he's reading the messages he ends up thinking he's falling for Beth. He just really likes her personality, even though he's never met her in real life. And it might sound kind of creepy, but it was so cute. And I just really loved it because you don't really know who they're talking about because Beth one day ends up talking about this guy she sees at the office and he doesn't think it's him. And it's like, it's just so cute and very subtle, but really lovely. And I like that it's kind of fast paced, but also like a slow burn romance. Like it's not slow burn, but there's not a lot of stuff happening obviously because it's all through emails, but it was such a good book and I thought it was really romantic and sweet and just really cute and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Alright, the next book I'm going to be talking about is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This is a little bit darker than Attachments, but it is very well written and it is sapphic. So in this book we're following Emmy, who's a big film buff. She's a set designer, set dresser, and one day while she's out looking for a sofa for her film, she comes across this mysterious letter that was written by a film letter legend from the past and then she stumbles upon this girl named Ava. Ava feels a little shy and new to the film world and Emmy tries to get her introduced to it all and she becomes the new little rising starlet. They end up falling for each other in a very subtle but cute way and Emmy's trying to get over her previous girlfriend who she kept going back to and now Ava kind of has opened this door for Emmy in a happier romance possibly and Emmy's open doors for Ava in this new career and just finding someone to share her life and love with. It's really cute. I love that it takes place in Hollywood. It's not a very long book and it's really well written. I loved the descriptions and I just like I said I love the Hollywood aspect to it and the film industry. It was really exciting. There was some like mysterious aspects to it and also some darker aspects and like more emotional parts but overall I really love this book and it's perfect for thinking about love and like reading this for Valentine's Day. Alright the third book I have is one of my all-time favorites and that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book is one of my ultimate favorites ever. It's so well written and it takes place in I think the 50s and 60s. We're following Evelyn Hugo in her rising to stardom. She does whatever it takes to get herself to Hollywood and to become famous. Whether that's marrying different men or having to sleep with different men to get what she wants. But Evelyn is not going to stop until she rises to where she needs to be. While she's working on the film Little Women, she meets this woman named Celia and Celia ends up changing Evelyn's life in the most beautiful way and it is so good. So we're going back and forth when Evelyn is telling the story in the present to the past when we're following her life as she's rising to stardom and becoming this really famous celebrity and a really well-known actor. And then we're also following these different relationships she has with these men and this relationship she develops with Celia and it is so beautiful. I love this book. I could probably reread it every month and not get tired of it because that's how good it is. The descriptions, the time period, everything, the relationship is so wonderfully written and so descriptive and distinct and specific and I loved it. Like this book just means the absolute world to me and if you haven't read it yet I highly recommend it and I think it's also perfect for Valentine's Day. It is pretty sad but also just beautiful and if you're looking for a wonderful sapphic romance I highly recommend this one. 
The next book I have for you is We Met in December by Rosie Curtis. This book follows a woman named Jess who has finally just moved to London. She's living in this house share with a bunch of other people, including this man named Alex. As soon as she meets Alex, she falls for him and she has to keep that to herself because one of the house rules is that they can't be together. So Jess and Alex really only hang out as friends because Alex is trying to show Jess around and Alex is actually currently sleeping with one of the other roommates, even though he's not supposed to be. So Jess is a little broken up by that, but she's like, it's fine, she starts meeting other people. But then they realize their feelings are stronger for each other than just friends, so they have to battle these relationships that they're having on the side, while also trying to stay just friends so they don't get in trouble and all that stuff. I'm not explaining it very well, but this book is really cute, really sweet, and moves pretty quickly. I love the characters and their relationships with one another, and it was just like, like such a good like romantic comedy for this time of year. And the last book I have for you is The Falling in Love Montage by Sierra Smith. This book I've talked about a lot recently. It is one of my new favorites of all time, especially for contemporaries. Like I said, I don't read a lot of contemporary books, but this one meant a lot to me. So in this one, we're following this girl named Searsha. She is kind of giving up on dating and relationships because she doesn't want to get hurt again. She also doesn't feel like she has much of a future ahead of her because her mom is currently suffering from dementia. Searsha believes that she's going to have that same fate and that she won't really want to be with anyone because she won't remember it and she feels like it's kind of a lost cause until one day she meets this girl named Ruby. Now Ruby is only around for the summertime so they don't really want to start anything but they do really want to start hanging out and become friends. So Ruby has this idea that they can go on lots of really cute dates. There won't really be any strings attached. So they go on these dates that kind of show off their falling in love montage which is like a section in a movie where we get a bunch of dates happening where the characters are falling in love with each other. Searsha agrees to do that but she doesn't really want to get too attached to Ruby so she keeps a lot of her secrets to herself. She doesn't really try to get to know Ruby. She she has a lot of misconceptions about Ruby that end up really starting to hurt Ruby and really starting to hurt their friendship with one another. So finally they realize their feelings are a lot more than just friends. It's a very emotional story. I was crying a lot throughout this book, especially because with the mom suffering from dementia, that was very hard for me to read, but also just the fact that Searsha was hiding so much from Ruby and she was assuming so many bad things about Ruby. It was a little frustrating at times, but overall this book is really cute. There are also a lot of really cute little dating ideas if you're interested in trying to go on a cute date at all during Valentine's Day, but there's a lot of sweet moments and just really heartbreaking moments, and it's one of my new favorite books ever. Alright everybody, those are my top five books to read if you are single or if you just need something cute to read this Valentine's Day. That is all I have for you today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you want to keep following me on this booktube journey, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Erica Gobble. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!